What's up guys, this is Tactical Gamer here, and I was just married, and I'm hungover as shit. Please bear with me for this video, it's uh, very much so worth it, but uh, as you could tell in the first probably minute and a half, three minutes of the video, my brain's like not there. But anyways, let's get into it. What's up guys, we have Kusho Shinzo, me, the Tactical Gamer, Fat Hands, Contractor, Court, and Zap. We're gonna be giving you another banger today on these current topics. Chatting the new seven day play test, which is going to be on the 18th this coming week, is gonna be fucking insane. There's so many content creators that's out there that's gonna be doing live streams and covering Grey Zone Warfare. You gotta go check them out. Along with early access speculations and some other information and possibly touch base on the Marek interview. And just to answer a very serious question right off the bat, because so many people's been asking, I do not have access. I believe it's only VIPs. Trust me, I'm trying. I have Agsterick and I am patiently waiting for a yes or a no. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. But I don't know if it'll be too much of a good thing if I do get it, because I just got married this current week, uh, this past Saturday. And I'm going on my honeymoon Wednesday. So once I get back, I'll have approximately two days to play. But I did really want to get this uh, into this playtest portion so I could give y'all keys. Everybody who's been doing podcasts with me, fucking appreciate it so much. It really helps the channel and helps everybody at Madfinger Games with Grey Zone Warfare. We've seen this already with the, the uh, Ground Zero location. Ali, I think it was the first podcast. Uh, we talked about how it was a little bit too small and we wanted to see something bigger. Guess what? If you overlay that map's previous footage with the new map we currently have now, it's it's about 50% bigger on the rough estimate. So maybe they watched that video, maybe they didn't, but someone's listening to someone. Um, and that's basically it. We're just going to get straight into it. Uh, what do you guys think about the playtest, guys? Was wasn't yeah, that first fucking I crazy? I say one thing. <laughs> it's it's another day where tactical doesn't understand mathematics. It's a hundred percent bigger because that's called the <laughs> circumference. You absolute melt. I I do not remember what the map looks like because I don't have it up in front of me right now. And I know we talked talked about it in the Eleven Man podcast, which is coming out tomorrow on Monday. But um, yeah. Uh, I don't remember what percentage we said, so I just gave 50 as a rough estimate. <laughs> Meaning 100% is, you know, 50% bigger than that, so that's that's good. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> no, 50% bigger or 50% is 25. Try Bruh. again, <laughs> another day tactical. Bruh. You utter it, melt. It, it's probably better I do. Fucking really tired, still fucking hungover. Had to get my fucking... A liquid, uh, my vein, you know, that fucking IV shit. First time for that, my fucking arm hurts. But, um, anyway, yeah, so the play test. The play test. This, from my opinion, we just had logos release, I think, a week prior to the Marek interview, or maybe it was the same week even. And then we had the Marek interview, which I wanted to cover, but we couldn't find time with the wedding and everything and ever, everyone else's schedule who I wanted for the video. And then now we have the play test that was announced. It was like, dude, everything's just snap of a finger, snap of a finger, snap of a finger. That's kind of making me think early access is really, really close. Perhaps within a week after the play test, along with a few other creators that I currently believe that kind of is the situation. But... You're bringing in roughly, okay, mathematics again, motherfucker. Uh, I'd say, so you had 20 people play the play tests. I'll just say we have another 20 people, just for shits and giggles, because we don't know exactly how many people we have VIP right now exactly. Not not from my plan, uh, standpoint anyways. Do y'all know how many people's VIP? No. Nope. No, I don't be paying attention. Yeah, I'll just say, let's say 50 right now, right? 
So 50, and they're giving away four keys each. From what I remember seeing, someone said three keys. I think it's four keys. It makes more sense for three keys because you're four people to a squad. But if it's four keys, it's four keys, whatever. So let me just bring up my calculator so I can give you the correct mathematics. So you got 50 people times four. Dude, I can't even think right now. 200. Yeah, 200. Okay. 250 yeah. if you're including the people. Yeah. Are... No, yeah. Two, yeah sorry, 250 I have people. Here. I was going, nope, the math is wrong once again. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, 250 people per, uh, at this time that we know of. I don't know how other play tests go, but at that rate, they could do roughly, what, five servers? Because it's 48 people per server, but are they going to max the servers out? You know, shit like that. Um, and I, it be six servers? Yeah, well, to fit all the other people, but uh, on rough, I'd say they probably have 10 servers total, and not everybody's going to be maxing the servers out. The, all the servers are going to be maxed. So I don't know exactly how they're running that portion. I know they could easily get a load test off of just like 40 people, I would say, you know? So to speculate on the keys and how many there's going to be, uh, I I think it's going to be four keys total, inclu including the person. Yeah. Because if you think about it, yeah. you, have, you have the VIP who's going to be playing, and yeah. then you have his three friends for one full squad. That, Same. that makes sense. So four keys total. Yeah, but and one is, of those are your VIP keys. Is getting three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each VIP is going to get three keys. That's that's what uh, that makes sense. Like to me. That makes sense. And also, there's something else I want to speculate. Just because they give these guys keys does not necessarily mean that their buddies are going to necessarily be playing all at the same time, too. Yeah. So total player count. We, we might not see any servers maxed out. That's what worries know. me with only 250 people. That's like, from what someone else told me, they're like, that's a pretty damn small test. But it, it doesn't worry me in the sense that they don't know what they're doing. It, I wouldn't even say the word worry, really. So. I'm not worried I, in the slightest. I think speculation wise, we're going to have another test. This is the, can we break it with this amount of people now? Because remember, they had only 20 before, not even half the amount of people to be able to fill this a fucking server. And then Redbeard talked about, there were maybe max five people in one server at one time, and at minimum two, from what I recall him saying, and they tested all different servers. So those 20 people, Let's say, shit, another five servers, right? And one squad per server, basically. Um, I yeah, don't now, know. Uh, now that you pull that up, and it, it, it's funny, interesting how topics just pull out of nowhere and I get ideas. Um, so uh, we were talking earlier uh, about how what what this was going to showcase in my opinion it was going to be them showcasing all the issues that they've had fixed since the last play test yeah uh now that we're talking about this i also think that maybe this is a test for them to test out the servers and see how much people crash yeah and because they did say that their merit did say that he, they were going to fix all known bugs within the game before they allowed us to have early access maybe this is the next step into testing the full wide open servers and having them completely full and that's why i want to do a video with basically touching base on what mark stated and hitting all his main topic points um because it was really pertinent information you know he said multiple things like um he basically wants to wipe out all the bugs. Like, like, dude, I swear to God, with how Mark was talking that day, it made me feel basically he wants to release a fully built game that's basically finished minus Ground Zero because we already know we're not getting Ground Zero right now, right this second, at early access. For now, maybe it's going to be if it releases, if they find more issues and they release it three months later, 
for speculation, people, because I fucking hate when people get, take things out of context. This is all speculation, like, fuck, goddamn. It's 100% confirmed it's gonna take three months, we're not gonna get it until July. No, my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go again. You heard it yeah. right here. We'll, we'll get it for my birthday. <laughs> no, it's, uh... So basically, let's say it takes... They find some more issues with this 250-person test that we think it's 250 people. Fucking people that don't listen to the videos and just skip around. Um, maybe they find some issues and then within those three months they say, okay, yeah, well, we're close enough. Let's just delay it another few weeks or something and release old ground zero also, you know, that might happen too. But at this time, from what I know, which is a fact from what Mark stated in the interview, and now correct me if you all heard differently, ground zero will not be there for early access at this time and definitely not in this fucking play test. You won't see early uh, ground zero. As well as the day night cycle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's well, we, that's we, fucking we two years out, probably. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, they uh, no, six, or what? six months, six months. Oh, six months. Fuck, yeah, dude, he, he what? Um, that's gonna we, be nice. Uh, even though we're not getting ground zero, though, it is confirmed uh, that we have a uh, what did they say? A minimum of 150 missions currently. Yeah. Yes, I believe it was. I. It might have been 150 plus. So. My right, thing is, I, I think what they, oh shoot, I think what they Hiccup. need to do is not, yeah, very bad hiccups coming now. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't turn into full-blown fucking projectile vomit again. The, um, uh, the, um, yeah, that was freaking bad today. Um, so, I'm, one thing I definitely could say I'm worried about is them releasing too much information and stuff. So I don't want to see some people playing missions that I'm going to come to and like, oh man, well, he did this mission already. I can't experience it for myself. Have missions, but I think those missions should be, let's say seven days, give people 10 missions. All extracted from those 150 different missions, but I'll not in you. order. Don't say extracted. Don't, 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 don't do that. Take, take Tarkov? 100. We're playing Tarkov? Take, Tarkov. 10, <laughs> take 10 missions from the 150 missions at random. Take the names of those mm. missions, the numbers of the location of, like, the, uh, the general um, order of those missions and extract. Don't extract them. You take them out. You just take them out and fucking use those. We're okay, ten of them. But how are you ten of them? Bring your loot out. Oh my god, this guy. Anyway, That's not was, on the uh, subject. I also <laughs> want to uh, bring up as well. Based on the numbers, we either have 200, 250, based on whether they're giving enough uh, keys to have a plus one on top of the squad in case. Yeah. You know, can't get a full squad together with your friends. You give one to your other friend that also wanted to play. Yeah. The thing I want to know, and we haven't had confirmation yet because we don't have a list of creators or other people that have access. What regions are they playing? Because I know. Ooh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Are they all going to be in, like North American? So, I don't think so. So not only are you only having 200 to 250 people playing, they're going to be split across potentially three, like three massive areas. You might have. Uh, you'll so, have NA, potentially South America, and Europe. Or, potentially a fourth secret option, which is Australasia. That's another thing that um, uh, Gertrude was speaking about, is there were only 20 people in the first playtest, and we noticed how some people were lagging, and some people weren't. And we speculated that... Wait a second. 20 people... Yeah, 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 exactly. Fuck, the fucking you, servers probably were the fucking issue on where they were located, which makes a lot of sense. Dude, when I, when I play Tarkov and I play those 150 fucking server pings because Tarkov don't know how to match make correctly. Um, issues. I lag, but I know it's not me. Like, I could see it's not me. Just for some okay. reason, it throws me into a shit ass server. We know, is, we the, know. is that the first time you had come to that conclusion? It, like, I, maybe I should speak on more stuff that I was... 
Well, I, I was going to just say as well, like, we know that Jesus. there's definitely at least one European because Jack Franks had play, previously played. Yeah. And I believe he was having <clears throat> some of the issues with uh, Sir Ping because he was playing with the majority American squad when I was uh, watching him through his video. Yeah. Um, so. I think that's going to be pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I hope they've expanded the amount of servers and server locations because we've already had people in the Grey Zone Warfare chat asking, will there be Australian servers? Will there be South American servers? Yeah, some concerns for that. Um, I think they're going to go overboard. Now, look, think about this for a second. So we spoke about it in, I think it was the podcast we did after the 11 man, or perhaps the 11 man. To gauge the servers, why in the fuck do they not do a pre-order 10 days out? Something like that. Do a pre-order. Push it really, really hard. Do a fucking pre-order. You'll figure out exactly how many people are wanting the game. How many servers do we need, guys, at that rate? And then factor in the percentage of who on Discord said, I want um, LRI, CSI, and Mithras. If you factor in those percentages, because I'm guesstimating, which it wouldn't be smart if they ran it a different way, but I'm guesstimating, you'll only have, you'll, whenever you go to join the servers, you'll have a set amount, 16 players for Mithras, 16 players for our LRI, 16 players for CSI. You get what I'm saying? That makes sense to me, not to have a disadvantage towards some other team, you know, something, you know. Um, I think that's the best way to play it right there. And you, we already know right now you're not going to be able to just join servers randomly. You're going to be able to hit play. And we're speculating it's hit PvE to play or PvEVP to play. If I said that uh, correctly. But, um, yeah. I think they know what they're doing and they're going to do a very good job with it. I just hope they don't pull a Helldivers in a sense. And then also you got to think, you don't want them to go too overboard. I can't imagine a server being cheap, you know, and I can't imagine you saying, oh, hey, I just need a server, an extra server for a week. You're signed into a damn contract probably months out. I'm not positive uh, on that. I've never done it before, but I would estimate you're probably signed mm, into a contract. Not that I know, but in speculation from what I've seen other games do, it's, uh, or especially with me purchasing, uh, <clears throat> servers from other like games. Like Nitrado and stuff or whatever? Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah and, and stuff like Battlefield, it would be a 30 day rental and it's, uh, yeah. something that would, uh, it, it would also take a while. The server wouldn't be set up instantly, so it, it would, uh, it would be... Like even though they're renting out the servers to you, they, uh, the they yeah they they have. they have to deploy the server to you first. There's a lot of downtime on the back end to get that done, from what I understand, and what it no, sounds yeah. like. Uh, so it depends on how they're running it. If they're instant, if they're instance, then no. But yeah, uh, since they haven't said that they are going to allow private servers off the bat, then it, they could have had it baked in. Which they're gonna allow private doing. servers off the bat. No, I said no, if, no, 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 no. If oh, they're going to allow servers. Okay. I just wanted to make uh, sure. And I said that they're not going to allow private servers off the bat. Yeah, I, I hope yeah. they don't. That that needs to be implemented later, for sure. I definitely agree yeah. with that. Private servers... What they should be focusing on right now is making sure that... All the bugs are fixed? <laughs> servers are... Well, no, more that servers are set up... And Probably, that yeah. connections are good. Because... And all the time that I've seen new games come out, hit registration, uh, oh, server God, connections yeah. are some of the biggest problems and uh, biggest issues uh, with new either betas or accesses or new games releasing. Those are usually always the biggest problems. So from what I've my thing is, I have no fucking problem waiting 10 minutes to get into a fucking server because it's persistent. Tarkov and shit on the other hand, you know, you waiting oh 10 God, minutes bro. to fucking get there in. We go. That, oh, hell yeah. I, I will bring up Tarkov till my day's end. Oh, no, no, no. I'm fine with shitting on Tarkov. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like, yeah. Even, even the, the... Fuck that game. Even our arena where it's a tiny map, you only have 10 people at maximum. 
It's something We're, wrong with their neck. They'll code. still take like, three to get into a small it'll, 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 Like from match select to finding a server to then getting into the game, it's a solid five, six minutes. Re remember what Mark said. We're bringing you the experience, not the fucking frustration, Nikita. He stated that, dude. In the interview. interview. Pretty sure that's the exact words in which he phrased it. Um, just to bring back to what I had said previous, if I could remember exactly what I said. Um, so, they're trying to bring the game out, right? As soon as possible. We know this. Um, the, the whole 200 or maybe 250 people person, we could call that a just a decent estimate. I think that's on the low side for a test. And like, what what was that game Xville? Yeah, Xville. I think they had like yes. a thousand people for their fucking alpha, dude. Uh, I'll be. I'm honest. currently in it. Yeah, I, yeah, I played uh, it. yeah. Me, uh, Hans, uh, we we all applied the day that the playtest came out, which was yesterday at eight p.m. Uh, my time. Uh, we all applied. We all instantly got in, and we were looking through yeah. servers. Everyone had thirty six people on. Wait, there's another one? Because yeah. I played there's on one the right now. That's before. There's one right now until tomorrow. How uh, uh, how many servers you figures in there? Uh, it, a hundred. Good hundred. Yeah, uh, good more. A more. few uh, hundred, and everyone was filled with thirty six players. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't. Hold on. So obviously, you can put limits on how many people can join. Let Let's just say roughly five thousand like people. Yeah, I'd say that there. Actually, I can just pull this up right now. <laughs> Uh, because I can just look at Steam DB and at, look at active players. I personally Did, didn't like Xfil, but hey, throw, at least they're servers, man. Yeah, throw me a screenshot when you can Xfil. of that. Um, and see, that's what I mean. Basically, the best example. I know the game Xfil is way more under uh, overrated for uh, servers, I guess, or whatever. They, they, I don't know exactly Xfil what they're doing. Um. It's All I know is who started working on a on a on a game, and he's been working on it for two years, and he's at a point where they're now testing it to go live. It's only one person. That's why a lot of people. Yeah. Are oh, so it is only one person. Thousand people playing. Yeah, yeah one, were... one dev. A lot of. Support. Oh, a thousand right now. Okay. Uh, one no, dev uh, made that. Yo, that's crazy. There's 88 people right now at this current time. Um, I will pull the screenshot straight into. Okay. Yeah. Should check what was a uh, peak. All time peak was 88, uh, 8, uh, 863. Okay. Right. So I was right with the first uh, estimate, I guess, around a thousand. Um, I think they're going to expand this a little bit more. So I know what they're doing with the whole content creators and VIPs. They want to push their game out, they want to do it right and have a bunch of people that our content creators experience the game and push it out for them, basically. Um, I still think we're going to have another test where you sign up. At least I hope. I, from what I remember, I it, it was right whenever I joined the Discord, first starting to learn about Grey Zone Warfare, and I can't say for fact, but I could swear I seen one of the mods talking to somebody and they said they will not push favorites or anything like that and that the play test will be basically a sign up thing. I I can't remember if that was I've true got... or not, but maybe the maybe things changed. I don't know. Got, I've got to ask you something that cool. Are What's they that? calling this a play test? I I don't know exactly. We don't know. Because as far as I'm aware, this it. isn't a play. Because this right. isn't a play test. Because they're not tested. Like, this is PR. This is just PR. Could be. They there might be some right. things seen that are Jeez. able to be like, oh yeah, no, that's a that's a I glaring mean, issue that 20 right. people have complained about. That no, is. let me finish what I'm gonna say. Hands, don't stop <laughs> saying right. You absolute whore. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was gonna finish off and say. If they That's if they funny. do call this a play test, it would be disingenuous, uh, not f just for the reason that you said. Yeah. If they were saying that they weren't going to play favorites, where, which we do not have any proof of, 
to be no. a proper playtest, you need to have such a wide focus, like a wide group, that not only do you have the oh I'm running all AMD, that's why I was having having issues. Please check that build. You want to have people that go, hey, my four x three monitor doesn't work with this game. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It play, it, okay, first yeah. off, if they do a playtest and they and they have people sign up, like uh, please, please please require. That they give you, you know, not the, only the specs of their computer, but maybe the specs of their monitor as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like... Make sure the specs are up. Since I've done game testing before, these, uh... This playtest, if this is, as I said, called a playtest, is disappointing to me from a testing standpoint. Yeah. Hear me out, right? When Dave was probably talking earlier about playtests and everybody sign up, um, I'm, I'm still going back to, hey, this is going to be an early access game. What if the, the quote unquote release is our way of testing? What if that is their definition of playtest? Hey, you buy into our game. You're, you're, bu you're buying into it because it's early access. So you're buying into the thought of, hey, I get to try it out test it out let's see what's good the bad the ugly and that's where they'll start getting their information i really think this is more or less another showcase because we didn't really see much pvp well we didn't see any pvp so uh well eh, my we one so or uh, i think it was control pairs gaming did it was, it was they uh they all he did was shoot his friend but i believe in rilo uh, it, was it Rilo or was it clean? It was Rilo. They uh, uh, they did have a uh, a PVP, but they didn't. They didn't but it was uh, it, it wasn't really they anything couldn't show. major, right? Yeah, they yeah, no, it, show it. yeah, yeah. They, they, but the, the reason issue... for that was is because they don't have the PVP, or they didn't at the time in that build that they all got to test. Didn't have uh, the shit set up for PVP. Uh, yeah. So what? I wonder if this build. What if they do? Who knows? Like honestly, anything could happen. They're not really giving us any well much information which i absolutely like because uh, it my, just leaves things up to the imagination my main thing against what you just said there uh, court was you buy in to the play test i i'm happy to pay for an early access game to experience it before the fun the final release date however if i'm going into a game to test it i don't want to have a 40 40 dollar barrier to entry to go hey i want to go see what's wrong with your game then yeah i mean that's that's, that's that's fine but not everybody has that same opinion right like, well, a, lot would pay, a lot of people would pay a lot of people would what would pay for a dev build to be like Ooh, look because... at this new game but they're, they're stupid I mean, mm. you say that, but we have games out here like Star Citizen that are... No, it, Star Citizen is a finished game as far as everything is in, involved. Do you not talk about Star Citizen, you <laughs> slanderous mother... No, I got something for you. I'm launching Star Citizen right now! Ready, ready or not, <laughs> I bought into the, the testing, and I followed, I followed the test from start to finish, and a lot of people, what we got in our quote-unquote full game, ready or not... People still don't know that Ready or Not had a PvP exclusive mode at the time. Like there were there were things that I got the test and we left our critique and it was expensive, but we were getting full on insight from right then and there. But this by it being early access, them referring to a playtest, that's essentially what an early access game is it's it's early it's not done so therefore at the end of the game you're still testing it even if you're not subconsciously wanting to test it that's that's the thing that people need to uh sort of understand yeah we're cool we're playing a game but it's not done yet <laughs> yeah that's the issue with a lot of the community uh, that uh, that i hate is a lot of people will get into a early access game whether it be in uh, beta alpha uh, or in this case, if we get early access for Resident Warfare, everything we've seen so far is pre-alpha. pre, pre -alpha. 
they're not even at alpha stage yet and uh, a lot of gamers will hop into a game in early access no matter what the stage is in think it's the full game and like oh this ain't for me and then just quit and i'm like well that's it's a shit opinion to have like you can't go into a game that is currently testing that they know there's issues for a game and then say it's shit well if, if you have issues with the game maybe let the devs know hey i have an issue with this they can look at that feedback which is what an early access is for minus days and then before they can, yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> yep some devs are different these uh, the, I, I trust these uh, the developers for ism i do uh they've they've been in chat too much they yeah they they've talked to their community they've been uh, openly engaging with us it's i have more trust for the devs for grazen warfare than i've ever had for any other devs Same i don't here. remember what content creator brought this up but i just remember uh the phrase what do they have to gain for making this a scam nothing some money what do they have to lose well everything. they'll get the, everything they'll lose everything because they are a tenured development team sure they've been making probably from rilo i don't follow a lot of uh youtubers i just saw it pop up in my feed zap um but they are tenured devs sure for mobile games but the mobile games are highly rated they're all polished they they were from the golden age of mobile gaming where you'd have called mobile like not called mobile but called zombies mobile <laughs> Stuff like that. Like th that. this this isn't going to just be a like pump and dump. Yeah, no, they they've moved their whole studio from being a, a phone de phone development company to being now a PC gaming industry or uh, P PC development company. Exactly. And uh, they have a lot riding on the line. They have everything to lose. And this mm -hmm. is the first this is their first game that they are actually invested all this like, I mean, first major game, in my opinion, versus what they've been working on. So it's, yeah, it, it's going to be something. And they're doing Just a crazy um, job, too. Yeah, not, yeah, not, 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 not to mention that a phone... Like, sorry, go ahead first. Uh, I was just going to bring up numbers. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, not, not to mention that uh, we have a phone development game. You can't even really call them indie at this point because they're not indie, but at the same time, like, th this is their first computer-only game. And it looks visually better than just about almost everything on the market. I, I can't think Tarko. of another game... I'm not, even I'm not even going to dignify that response. Um... It, I can't did. think of another game that looks visually as good as Grayson Warfare currently does. Um, uh, uh, what, what was that one? Uh, uh, Incursion Red River? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It does not look good. I'm okay. sorry. That uh, let, let, let's let's, let's go with the game that's actually fucking playable. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold up now. It's still in early access, right? And it just... that That's the thing. What if... Now, hear me out, right? The well, game used to be called that, something else, example. yeah. Yeah, that was an example, right? Yeah. It's early access. Now everybody's like, oh, it's flopping. That's, I think that's what MFG is afraid of. I really, we, we, uh, I feel like that's why they don't want as much. I feel like that's why they're not, not giving us too much information because they don't want us to be disappointed or they don't want to feel disappointed like if their game flop and then you, now you got a bunch of people running back oh hey uh yeah these guys they lied they're a scam blah 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 xyz i mean would you not be worried oh no i'm still worried but that that's the thing it's like at the end of the day you're you're trying to develop a, a level of i guess trust but but i uh I learned to grow out of that whole, oh, this is a game. At the end of the day, I know that I'm going to buy this anyways. And if it flops, I'm just going to wait for an update and it'll get better. Hope It'll hopefully get better. Right. We're, we're gambling <laughs> at this point. All right. To yeah. Go I'm back to my hat. The... That ring actually real quick. I'm fine. Games good, aren't good to know you're fine. Finished. <laughs> when they release um as long as they're prompt to fixing said problems 
I'm not fine when a developer takes a year or two years before or they, they finally just actually drop the game. project. Yep. Yes. See, and that's, <laughs> that's, that's something I don't, I'm not worried about, uh, especially <laughs> since after the last interview of Merrick saying that, or the saying that they don't want to give us early access until they fix all known oh, bugs. Known I think that bugs. yeah, that's fucking insane. No other company has ever tried to do shit like that. I can if anybody can think of one please like i've never heard of a company trying to uh, go that route uh and that's icarus. precisely why i brought that up um when no icarus icarus dropped... icarus, icarus <laughs> was pay playable to the, no. the public before <laughs> they allowed it that's the thing though but that's just an example of a game that hey everybody was starting to get all questionable <laughs> they couldn't play we can't it's unplayable <laughs> Icarus for like the first two weeks straight, every single day, hot fixes, patches going out. That being proactive just to at least get it in a playable state and start working on, you know, the little stuff later on down the line. But that's that's what I'm hoping to see from what we'll hopefully learn from this. Uh, I I don't even know what to call it. I guess PR. Yeah. PR test. <laughs> uh, not even a test, I, bro. I, I don't I'm I'm like kind of wiping it from my mind as a test. Let's demo. Let, yeah, let's do it as a feedback demo. I think feedback is a yeah. pretty pretty decent word to use because obviously that's what they're mainly pushing for. They need more feedback. And obviously I, I wouldn't even push it as far. Um for them to have the creators who signed up go through a a questionnaire, um, you know, just to see what they say and what they think about it. If they needed to fix some more things or if they feel it's release ready, you know, just that. But still, I, I want to see another, I guess you could say closed, but bigger test with raw people from the community you want to see a closed uh you want to see a closed pre or alpha uh pre alpha or alpha stage testing yeah not not just from the vips like they care for us those those gamers obviously aren't going to be paid by gray zone warfare but dude i i see some of them so you you talked about incursion red river the reason I got into Incursion Red River to, to test it out is because one creator, who's very fucking huge, basically did not shit on the game game one bit and said it was fucking awesome. Guess what? I got in there, the game shit. Go tell me that it's not shit. It, I all right. So I tried it as well. Yeah. What what do you what, were you, what did it's you very, think the first hour? It functions. Our, all you think Obviously. Is, is like yes. It functions. That's it. It just functions. But that. There's no gameplay loop there, really. Uh, no maps. The AI is very laser beamy, and hit registration is very poor. E that's pretty much what I expected. And it's you know, there's not enough content to keep me playing. Yep. Now, let's see what happens. Remember, because this is what... Did this just things. drop today or within a week? And how, hmm. how many fixes did they even... Incursion Red River has been out for a long time underneath another game's name, from what I was told by a mod. I, I have All not right. looked into it. I didn't say, oh, hey, how long? It's been out for seven years or what? I honestly don't care. I just wanted to check it out because someone told me it was good, and I thought I could build a base of content around it, but I don't like the game that much, and I want Grey Zone Warfare, period. That's my big bankroll, is Grey Zone Warfare. That's why I've been pushing for VIP and wanting to get you boys keys, because what's more cool than that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, were you thinking of Xville? The one that okay. we're all testing out right now? Oh, no, no. See, I I was thinking of Incursion Red River, right? Because even though it was under, it was a different game under a different name, I'm looking at the release date, April 10th, right? been out four days did y'all see any type of patch fix or anything i not really probably not i have no idea 
But I, I didn't it, look at none of that shit. Right, well, like if they known from day one, right, of the name change, people are having these issues with their game. They that, that should tell them, hey, it's time to be proactive. And yeah, I brought this up because that that's gonna be it, it's good to compare the difference between the devs because you said. I, I remember Kusho, he keeps stating it. I will it, say and this, um, since you are going off of what you know or what you're thinking, uh, in the past three days, uh, actually I can go further, there have been, for Incursion Red River, actually I'm just going to share my screen because there are too many to count. Okay. Um, you can uh, just say there's been a fuck done. Yeah, yeah, there's, there, there's a lot. Was, there was one play test that... Uh, also, it, it allows me to also pull up the other uh, thing I wanted to talk about that I've now put in. So, this is launch. Just how the game plays is not, like, something I enjoy. And... Yeah, no, but I, I just wanted to, yeah. like, dispel, like, oh, they're not <laughs> listening to people. Like, they've, they've been <laughs> updating, like, eight hours, ten hours, like... It, okay, every so couple hours not, they're updating but it's still not up to the level that the level of expectation that people see and that's that can be a, a deal breaker right because now that goes it's like if they have all this time right to fix all this stuff that people are complaining about and they're doing it pretty quickly right at what point did they not stop before dropping it on release and saying or before dropping it on the EA at what point did they not stop and think are all of our known bugs fixed no, no they no the it's, thing see, is most communities nowadays or gaming industries they don't care they're going to release you a game that you're going to get to play early access and they're going to be working on it for the next 10 fucking years. It, yep. I, it, and I, as much as I hate to say this because Looking I have at you, had Nikita. some really, yeah, I, I have played some really <laughs> good games in early access, but I, I miss the days of where you bought a fucking game on a disc dude and it was done. It was done. That was it. If it yeah. had the bugs, if it, the if bugs it were had, in the disc. Yeah. If it, and, and it was minimal on the amount of bugs it had. The game was finished. Like, I don't mind that game or gaming industries are allowing us to get into play games before they are finished, and it, I actually do enjoy it, but uh, releasing a piece of shit to us and expecting a whole bunch of feedback and money generation to get the game going on a piece of shit is not worth it. I, I'm, I'm tired of the way the industry has been for a long that time. That is exactly yeah. why I was against what Kors said previously about you, if you pay to get to in, pay. you know you're gonna be you're gonna be more interactive with the, uh, you're you're gonna expect more from from the developers, and it's just it's not it's always true. It's a give or take Some... situation, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. but if they were to go with the with what me and Tactical suggested, which is a clo a larger closed beta or closed alpha, you would have more people signing up that are willing to put in time. That to brings add, like, issue number two, and, the thing that happened with New World. <laughs> okay, what's, what's issue I'm, number two? I'm, I'm currently playing New um, World, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so uh, New World, they had multiple successful betas, right? So when the game, when they were able to finally release it, they didn't have enough servers for their player base that's uh, a completely different issue I, no I, I'm, I'm gonna so uh, yeah I'd and, rather use hell divers for an example of that yeah no I'll, yeah, I, I will say us. when it comes to new world and the uh, the, the play test that we had because I was in the closed and open beta yeah uh, so was I but I, I dude, just never built the game new world did in, 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 <laughs> during the closed testing dude holy shit even the open testing and even after even now there is so many fucking bugs in the game that has to be fixed that they've never fixed. They uh, they don't uh, go by the roadmap. They're, they're, they have been fixing bugs for so long in this game or fine-tuning it. The game has been out for almost, or over two years now? Uh, I believe it came out almost in yeah, 2021. Yeah, uh, two and a half years? 
Uh, let me just check nine. that. Or is uh, it three and a half? New I can't remember. World. I think it's it new. came it's like out third birthday or something. Twenty twenty one. Uh, okay, September so, yeah. 28, 20, 2021. So, yeah. Three so, years. Uh, um, two and a half years. Yeah, so it's... They have been so focused on trying to fix these issues that even to today, we have no fucking in-game. I, I have so many hours on New World. I'm currently mm -hmm. farming right now. I would have everything done in the game. I have 12 fucking characters level 65 and maxed out because there's I'm gonna share nothing else for me to do at the my moment. My screen again. Uh, but there's no fucking in-game because the they numbers. don't have time to work on it. They're always fixing and fine-tuning shit. Right, so I brought up Grey Zone. I, I was alluding to this, but I couldn't get the words out at the time. Uh, followers. These would be people who bought the game or wishlisted the game. There are over 200,000 positive reviews. There are almost 200,000 positive reviews. Okay. There are currently 7,000 people in game. Yeah. With an 11,000 peak. Oh, yeah, no, New, New World's dying. And rightfully so. Like, if we just, like, if we just look at this, you see, we had that, that's, that's, we, that's why it's a, it's a, it's a gray area, right? So, we're, we're essentially now we're walking a tightrope because it's like cool how many it's like if they do a, a closed test how big of it or how much larger would it need to be where it can draw that positive crowd but also not be overwhelming because at the end of the day getting yeah getting over getting a bunch of servers up and running overnight just especially with limited funding at this point in their current state um that's that's just not possible i would say five thousand i would say is the but... perfect amount for a test well I... uh, a divisible I... number of, of so 40 uh 4, with a up and down a deviation of a thousand so I'd say 5,500 would be a perfect amount. I mean, but now you've got to stretch that out to different regions. Is that 5,000 per server or per region no, that the servers are going to... Yeah, 5,000 total. total. Oh, okay, yep. so then they then they would have to pick and choose. You would have to, like, specify, okay, I'm from U.S. region. Because they're not yes. only have to test the game out itself, they're also going to have to test the servers that they're going to run these games on. But they also need to see how cross uh, cross channel um, performances, because as I am from the UK, however, I am up at it is four thirty in the morning right now. Who am I going to be playing with? Me, Ooh. not you. <laughs> it's just me, myself, and I. Um, but <laughs> pretty much. Uh, also, I wanted to point this out. Uh, this is just some information I gleaned from uh, SteamDB, which. Uh, you may see related apps down here. If I go to uh, Xfil, just quickly, Xfil has public testing apps. These, th it, this isn't too important. However, app info is. Um, I can find every instance of Xfil on Steam through this. I, I'm sure you've done this as well, Kusha, at one point. I can't do that with Grey Zone, so I'm I'm concerned if they're just sending out files and not doing the playtest through Steam. Also, here is 100% confirmation of Easy Anti Cheat. Uh. Ooh. I I'm not I'm talking about in the video. Um, I'll 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 tell you later. Yeah, 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 go go ahead. But um, I just wanted to bring it up like it's not publicly available like information, which I can go to Counter Strike, Steam Zone thing, and find their dev bills and look at what's changing on them. Yeah. Um, if I if I go through the right uh right um sequence on Steam DB because everything's on Steam DB the database. Um. Uh, so You're that's all I wanted to say. Given their crap to Steam, yeah, like yeah, that's. I mean, that is a great way for things to not get leaked and whatnot. 
But yeah, that that can be a little concerning. But I still have faith and I like the direction that they're honestly taking at the end of the day. They did one, they're doing another. And we're speculating a third at some point. Yeah. All right, guys. Basically, I gotta head out. I'll see y'all later. All nice right, chatting. Man. Nice being a part of the podcast. Right, Good see seeing you, hands. Thank you for coming. Take it, huh? What um I was eluding, eluding to earlier, like um thirty minutes ago. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's finally remembered now. So no, 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 no. I, I was letting y'all talk. Uh, Incursion Red River and um, that YouTuber that I'm not gonna plug was saying, "Oh man, it's so good, such a good game." Who has? I'm going to tell you right now, two million followers. You can know, you'll know exactly who it is more than likely, and I'm pretty Ooh. sure that's the person. He stated that the game was good. If you're into co-op things, that's just like Tarkov. You know what I'm saying? At that rate, if you have Tarkov, go play SP. Tarkov. Period. Period. That is so much better than fucking Incursion Red River, it's not even funny. Plus, you could make your own damn mods if you know how to do that for SP Tarkov. The only thing is, Nikita doesn't like SP Tarkov on his own game because he didn't know how to make SP Tarkov himself. Um, what are you doing? basically, what I wanted to mainly have that talked about was, um, how could I word that? You can't trust all content creators and shit, is basically what I was getting at. Whereas, yeah, that's their job, play games, make money, fucking all that shit. Especially the big dogs. The community itself really wants to see something where they're involved. Awesome, we get to see, see footage and all that stuff, whatever, yeah, 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 yada, yada. Include the community. Make it completely unbiased. Like, 500 people could sign up and give three other keys to friends. Do a I big don't mean test. To be, I don't mean to, to big up our, our horns and all that. But we're in here every day, pretty much. Yeah, I did. We're in channels every day. We are just, we're using this as a platform. We've set up, uh, Kusho kindly set up a, a organization for it. Basically, and we're the only our organization. Iram, plug Iram. Join now. Okay, join. <laughs> 18 plus, 18 plus only. Yeah, no. 18 plus. <laughs> Zap's yeah, like, get, fuck get, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck. Zap is 16, by the way, for context, correct, Zap? No, I'm 15. Oh, hey, son of 16. a bitch, he's oh, even get this guy out of here. <laughs> Wait, you're, not hey. old, you're not old enough. To Rachel even be in the Discord. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no. 13, 13 plus for Discord, by the way. Okay. No, I'm talking about yeah, look for warfare. this game. Yeah. You could have viewed Zap's uh, account later. I his, will uh, find a way. His account's been disabled. <laughs> yeah, report he, Zap, he has report. parental permission. Ain't that right, Zap? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shake, shake his head, just nod and wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just nod, yeah. Precisely. But, um, yeah, we've been here for quite some time. Uh, The only other fucking content creators who have been in here is... Luna Maw. Yep. And, and I mean, Kusho, I mean, he's not calling himself a content creator, but I mean, I'm basically eluding to content creator role at the moment. I don't like yeah, I don't... Tuning, my own, tuning my own horn or whatever, but I've been here in, in here, I think the longest as the content creators, you know, unless there's someone else that I don't know is a content creator and hasn't posted anything, you know, and it's again, what I was getting at is unbiased, you know, that's, hey, do a sign up, random pick yep. the people in the sign up, but those people have to, they can't lie, because we know some people in here have shit computers, okay, you have to have some type of system set up like that to make sure your people have good computers, you gotta run the game good, all that. 
and uh, be able yeah. to leave feedback. You must give feedback. Have those 500 people give feedback and have an optional portion to uh, have your other people where you could like state what your other people have experienced also because i mean it's you giving away free keys you know have them be able to you, you could plug their information basically on their experience stuff like that like like they're going far and beyond why not go further and beyond is what i'm putting you know what's uh, sorry I, I'm, I'm just looking at um kusha's stream right now the last four people including you five people now Content creators posting in the GZW content channel are not VIP. Mm, oh, no, I mean, it, 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 VIP goes yeah. on a lot of base. But no, it, it, tactical, there are a lot of content creators that are been in here longer than you have. Yep. No, I, I, I never said anything that towards us longer. I'm talking about... Well... Active in the community. I, Active in the audio, community. Audio. Audio. Basically audio jumping in here that's what i'm alluding to because there's people that just come in here and play and chat gray zone warfare who is that us i'd absolutely love to meet all these other content creators but i don't know their schedules stuff like that you know maybe they're only doing content creation and they don't have time to jump in an, uh, a voice chat that's that's cool that's fine i'm happy i was able to get on a uh, tactical um uh, tammy uh fuck Timmy Tinder's tactical, Timmy. He says, stay tactical. Um, I'm happy I was able to get him and Redbeard for a video. That's fucking amazing. You know, I'd love to see them in audio here, but they're also making other content for other games. You know, I'm not doing that really right now. I play and stream freaking arena. That's about all I do. The but, um, thing I'd like to just add in as well. I know it's very like, oh woe is me but we're having loads of massive content creators getting like their videos out first and all that yeah. you get the devlogs early correct uh i i got devlog four early i i'm pretty sure that's the only one devlog, yeah right. that i've got early yeah but there's nothing else by the time i go and read through devlog four and start making my video there's already four other there's already four massive creators that have had the chance to do that yeah. edit it go and uh get started and it's the same for gameplay as well yeah and like any new gameplay footage i'm gonna turn off your stream now that you're streaming bad game uh, hey. <laughs> i kind of um go like, on. It, it feels a little unfair for someone that is passionate about this project that is gray zone warfare i haven't been in the discord but i've been following it since i think november I think start of Je December, um, end of November, and I've been uh, writing down my notes about why this game uh, should be played for to my friends. No, yeah. Quick uh, question, just for everybody here. Um, how did y'all all discover Gray Zone Warfare? Like, that's a good what? question. I was looking through Steam. You was looking through Steam, okay? Uh, what about you, Tactical? I found the video on YouTube and I showed it to my buddies and they were like, yeah, that's a pretty cool game. And I just, I kept digging deeper. Uh, even though I did watch that video probably the first week it came out, I didn't get into the Discord until like January, which is sad. I, I should have jumped in so much earlier, but guess what happened? Tarkov had my fucking nuggets, okay? Yeah, that's what happened. And that's that, that what we game. are hoping for in a game like this, right? The, the playability, because how I found it, I found it off of a a, a video. One of my buddies, he uh, he he does uh, content creating, but he he does uh, a mass or a vast majority of games. Right now, he's back in Warhammer. But I digress. Uh, he showed the video, and he was like, "Bro, check this out." And I was like, uh, wow, this looks, this looks good. Yeah. And so many but other people felt that way. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, what's the catch? Yeah. And then I heard, I heard open world and I'm like, okay, let me actually check out their discord. And I, I read through all the lore <laughs> and whatnot, all, 
all their dev logs and I'm like, okay, now I'm I'm invested. I'm in it for the for the long run. <laughs> Persistent open world tactical shooter. That's what not basically had me. Not ex not extraction shooter, the, not yeah. any of and that my crap. <laughs> my first videos on that was uh yeah, it, it basically was an extraction shooter. Then I fucking realized like those are just aspects of the game. Th this game is so much bigger than that. You could, you could put this in its own genre, dude. It's for, from Actual what Gray Zone really is. And you, you, box. You have to also put the word lore in there some kind of way because this is going to be a lore horror game, one thousand oh. percent. So, yeah, and you can't call it a sandbox, by the way, because there is specific missions and shit. And there's and no you, sand. Sandboxes don't have missions. There's no sand in a jungle. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, there is, by the way, but shut the yep. fuck up. This, <laughs> this lore is gonna be, from what they keep stating, from out of this world. <laughs> Pun intended. You know, it, it's gonna be fucking amazing. Uh, and I was never really a lore horror type person, but now with this game... That's going to bring a new aspect of gaming to me. Along with everything I fucking love here. You know, yeah, you got your games like Tarkov, you know, there's a little bit of lore behind that. Yeah, but it's all fucking Russian, you know? And they're shit fucking creators. They've created something pretty decent, but it took them eight years, almost a decade to do, uh, to make it decent, you know? I still think older Tarkov was better than current Tarkov. I mean, here's... Yeah. I, I don't In think ways. Nikita, Nikita as the game, I, I think they only have one more map left, but he, I think he lost his, his vision. And that's, that's yeah. something really important. He, in just develop or game development and whatever. His... I mean, on top of that, there it, what, some, what people don't realize is that Tarkov is not actually, it wasn't meant to be big. It's it's a stepping stone for development for them to prepare for the next game they're getting ready to release. So... And uh, that that's that's the issue I have with, is they're not wanting to put their full time into this game because they're currently developing another game. Still, so though, they... They've been developing another game. Still, though, they, they have... Nikita had a vision... Quite a few years ago on what the game was going to be and what i believe court's alluding to is his vision changed yeah you know what his vision was money signs and those money signs were directed at creators and forcing them basically to play the game because they shaped it in their way and what they wanted and what they thought and whoever whatever big creator is playing if there's more bigger creators playing the game or whatever, people are going to follow the lead. Whatever creators stop playing what they normally play and play something different, like in the next week, Jesse Kazam, he's fucking Tarkov period, dude. From what I know him for, he's going to be playing Greyzone Warfare. That's going to... Dude, Nikita's going to be like, oh shit, look how many people I dropped and the game's not even out yet. You know? It, oh no, the, the, the they'll probably announce their next game that they've been working on for years into an early access, and probably could next be. year after this. Could be, but um, I think that's basically what Court was getting at, and just the, the main things basically I want to see is more involvement with in generalization of the community instead of just the VIPs. I know why they're doing it with just the VIPs and all. That's awesome blah 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 whatever bring some more stuff to just the random people in here that's how you're bring really us. gonna get fucking general people talking about the game and all that shit cuz look look at it this way so if you do an in generalization I know these people do not have content creation channels but how cool would it be if some of the youtubers would grab a few of these people and do podcasts like I fucking do then you still get it out to the masses through, you know, a regular person standpoint. And who can, ah, uh, shit. The viewers of the content creators. Who are those viewers? Random people like y'all and me. 
okay not big content creators you get what i'm saying and if those people are seeing oh wow they're doing a really great job just sending this out to just regular people also and whatnot and those people who are not content creators which some people might speculate could possibly be paid how many times have we fucking thought about that you know what i mean oh man that guy's paid he's just a content creator but if you have people that's doing a podcast and people who aren't content creators you get you you kind of see where i'm going with this it's kind of hard to word it because it's just coming fresh out the brain uh they relate to them those viewers relate to them and they'll probably want to play it more and believe those people more because they're not content creators uh creators you know what i mean creators creators Creators. i'm still slurring my words i hadn't drank a fucking beer and fucking i don't know still slurring dude tell you what i'm hungover for sure he's got the after effects oh big time i'll probably have the when i tell you i threw up 30 times after the wedding well yeah after we was the ceremony and all a solution for that yeah Drink more alcohol? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I, maybe, I almost needed my stomach pumped. Body accepts it, it means it wants it. I almost needed my stomach pumped. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. If you're not in the LR by the end of the night, you're not drinking but, enough. But back to Grey Zone. Who, somebody commented on that. Do you, do you agree with that portion about the whole viewers thing and all? Wouldn't that be a good thing for the community? Are, if they want to grow I, I don't think the, I don't think the viewers I don't think the viewers because they're going to be people who normally watch Tarkov content yeah on say like if they normally watch what this guy normally streams and then they'll no, hop in and go this I, isn't like it I don't like it and then log off after getting I'm, the key I'm not alluding to Jesse he's Kazan. talking about I'm, gen pop like, yeah yeah like I mean, the... he, said, he said the viewers no, 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 yeah. like the viewers of content creators in general. So that could be whoever watches Rilo's stuff even. They'll see oh. Rilo's video. Say Rilo does a video with a podcast. And all those podcast people he has in there besides himself played the game. You get what I'm saying? Because they did a in-generalization access where they picked and chose random people who got their specs situated and they had the correct specs which could actually run the fucking game you know what i mean and they're decent people well, i don't know fucking whatever I, I games wants saying. to do with that you, yeah that's where i'm going with i it confused you when the i viewers right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you, you can yeah just the viewers are watching rilo's video of other people which resemble viewers playing the game Basically, the viewers of whoever's interested in Grey Zone Warfare play the game. Basically, and then they can come up with their own like. Scenario. Yeah, their their own feedback. going to be in their in their head, like, okay, maybe I'll play it like this guy, or or oh, I'm gonna be the scaredy cat like that guy, or or I'm gonna be a giga chat like Rilo. Yeah, you know, just they're, they're, they're gonna just start like that. Stuff. That. That's going to appeal to way more people than just a bunch of creators who could be playing the game and paid at the same time, to me. That's in relation to what I was saying about Incursion Red River. Tell me. That person that I was speaking about earlier was not paid to say how good the fucking game was. Tell me that. Come on now, There's dude. also a random in here who says IR is actually really good and cheap for what you get. Like, yeah, why? It, why are they in here? I guarantee that's probably somebody that's fucking a dev or something. Trying to get their game sold. Yeah, that's, Think about that's, it. It's a $13 yeah, game, bro. Thing. It's it's a $13 game. What do you make per hour usually? Most people probably make around $13 an hour. They might not even just... They'll buy the game. I work a set a 5 to 9 fucking job. I don't have time to play it for the next two weeks. Guess what? Or whatever it is with Steam you can't return it now that's 13 dollars they made just because they went type in the discord that's a similar game that's releasing very soon hopefully oh hey the game's good go play it but now look at this person um i don't want to plug his name but i do at the same time because it's like i looked up to the guy and i was like how can you say this game's fucking that good 
there's no way and directly said oh yeah if you play sp tarkov but you just want a cooperative game that's really good yeah play no, this I, game. on my yeah on my recording i uh i ended up finding his video because i searched up straight but up it's the first it's, it's the first result as soon as you, you know what incursion i'm i'm gonna go in blind i'm i'm actually gonna purchase this go in blind it's please on sale, right yeah like please oh wait it's on sale what is it right now it's on a 10 percent sale 20 percent. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? i'm happy i fucking return that shit <laughs> They release the game and then you drop it on a sale now. No, see that it, it usually happens. Um, Crazy. There are two. Yeah, I've seen a lot well, of games, games releasing on a ten percent to twenty percent sale. Well, no, I bought it at thirteen dollars. I'm pretty sure. I Is don't think I had it on the sale. It's an EA game. Okay. Better yeah, be the an thirteen dollars is the is the sale. Yeah, thought so. Yeah, I bought it at thirteen dollars, guys. A okay. week ago. Yeah. Or, well, no, not a week ago. Last week. Or, oh, no, it's, it's Sunday right now. <laughs> God damn it. Like last Wednesday, I purchased. Ago. All right. One, one telling thing is the storage size. For how big of a game is it? Okay, 35 gigs. Okay, that's um, that's a little concerning. Yeah, it's... Okay. It's not a big game from what I see. I don't know. Even, I don't even know how it's 35 gigs, to be honest. In my opinion, uh, from other games I've downloaded. The visuals. I, don't know. I was looking at some of the screenshots they got. It looks. Could be. It but looks uh, visual heavy. Try that out. Tell me what you think. Um, hey, I not, might not, like it. Who knows? Not yeah. right now during the video, but uh, I'll oh, probably yeah, toss, not right now. I'll toss like... you underneath in the comment section or whatever, whenever the video releases. And um, yeah. I'll be like, hey, look, Court said this game's fucking banger. Fuck Tactical Gamer. No. <laughs> Yep. But hey, is do that an option? Yeah, no, that's not an option. <laughs> if you say that, I swear to God, no, you'll never be in another podcast, boy. Especially <laughs> married man, <laughs> ready for sex. That is hey, so yo. difficult to think right now, dude. I, I can't believe I'm married, dude. It's awesome and scary at the same time. But I, I'm telling you right now, I own that shit, bro. I. Everybody's like, dude, you nervous? I'm like, no, why would I be fucking nervous? I'm gonna own this like, shit, bro. My wife. What dude, my, my confidence was off the fucking charts, bro. And let me tell you, I looked fresh as fuck, bro. My boy hooked me up, and then I seen him at the wedding. I was like, Anyways. dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back to Grey's Zone Warfare, people. <laughs> fuck the uh, tactical gamer life, right? <laughs> yep. The, um... <laughs> I do not like seeing high level content creators, especially after leaking information, still have access to something while some of us are doing the opposite. You know what I mean? Oh, right. We've taken yeah, stuff no, I, I, but was... and yeah. sent it to the mod like, hey, we think this is leaked. Y'all need to look into it and have not sent it to anyone can't, else otherwise. Believe. I can't believe we're in a channel with a narc right now, guys. No, hey, everybody point and laugh. You narking on me? You're the narc, bro. You're the one that's like, oh, they're leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, yeah, he, well, he didn't say any names, and we don't know what information is being leaked, anyways. So th this was this, this it's was just information, anyways. It's like if anything's getting leaked from any game. Just leakers in general, I, I, there's a special place, um, that they belong. Yeah, it's called yeah. My House, pal. I'm doing it. Th this is quite literally, like, just some game, uh, some pictures from the game. But this was all before, um, the 23-minute first footage showcase. It was before that. It was probably, like, a month before that. This was like in fucking January still. I think I was a week into Discord. Okay. It was early as fuck, bro. Okay. Early. Okay. Yeah. It, I'm not even alluding to the people who leaked accidentally because I, I like to give benefit of the doubt some of the footage that they weren't supposed to in the NDA. But, um... Yeah, I digress. I mean, is what it is. You know, they still... Some of them... Still has VIP status and stuff, which is cool. I mean, I mean, 
you know, yeah. VIP for a reason. You know, they're big content creators, stuff like that. I get it. Or they're not. Or they're or, not. Or they're small. <laughs> or they're smaller than tactical. Or they're paid. I mean, <laughs> there there is issues with breaking in, in NDA, and at uh, any point, they they can be sued. Yeah. That's what's crazy, yeah, I, dude. It, I think they're like. I think Badfinger Games or whoever's handling that portion is like just like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, it is what it is. It was an accident. It's like, uh, hey, no. things happen. Let, let's put it like this: litigate, um, litigate, litigate. Yeah, dude, <laughs> dude, they they have nothing to worry about. If if somebody does something wrong, step up. Goodbye. This game, you're saying it's gonna be good. It will take care of its fucking self. Like, come on. Yeah, uh, you don't even have to have any VIP content creators, dude. Just do the whole community thing. Get those people to record or whatever. Or you record on the fucking back end with a spectator camera of them playing the game. How cool would that be? I would love to watch that. Just have some random people playing the game. And one of the devs or whatever, mod, whatever the fuck's following ar around with a spectator camera of them playing the game. They, uh, Mark already said they want to put this in the game. In the future. You know how awesome that's going to be? Be able to do a fucking spectator cam? Oh my god. That's... I can't wait for the coach... It's going to be crazy. Uh, the, the, the coach cam uh, glitch to come back. Oh okay, yeah. If they're uh, if they're gonna allow us to spectate people on servers, I'm yeah, no. starting up a YouTube channel and looking for hackers. <laughs> well, I, I and I'll, on this day of catching <laughs> cheaters, <laughs> I don't know exactly how that would work. Like that's Very that's good. a whole nother video, bro. Like uh, spectre cams, how how the fuck is that gonna work? But it's in it, like fucking every other game. I'm pretty Wait. sure. They could do it something similar to Arma 3. So I played on a... <laughs> Wait, hear me out, though. No, I no, yeah, yeah, a, It was a, uh, an Invade and Annex server. And, well, this is a PvE-based game mode. But Helmet Cam? And they had, at the base, a projector screen. And you could toggle to whoever was on your team assuming they were all, all alive and out in the field and it would just like show them yeah they could probably dumb it down hey it, it's a suggestion could make a suggestion in the discord post get enough thumbs up bump it um the the who's ever dedicated whatever part of the team that's dedicated to reading the suggestions hey maybe they'll catch wind of it and it could be a thing it, but I don't see it being practical for what this game is inciting though or entailing yeah I don't I see think a, a spectator think, cam no I think spectator cam is a bad idea um I get last say uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think a spectator cam would work, uh, purely because it's a procedural world. Um, if I could even slightly move the camera outside of my squad, I can just be like, oh, I'm just going to be spectating for the, today for my, my team, because there's already four people in. I'll just uh, I'll just be their eyes in the back of their head. Oh, they're about to be ambushed? Oh, I'll just uh, call, message them in Discord. Oh, you're about to be ambushed. But, like, it, it wouldn't work. It, Wait, but you know how helmet cams are, right? Like, it, it only shows so little. It does only show so little, but at the same time, what stops me from then going, ah, oh, my second account. My friend's playing on this server. I'm going to go into this server on my second account. That's all uh, the people closest that are also doing this mission because they saw blue earlier. Uh, yeah, all the Mifras guys, they're right here. Yeah, currently, uh, that one's checking their map. I can see their map because, uh, it's pulled up. It was a physical item. Limit it to your team. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you can't I, I use just it said, I just said. You're overthinking oh. it. It, it, yeah, it. I'm overthinking it, but it, I'm, I'm thinking in the way that I need to think. It which could is, be. How would this be abused? So, 
it could totally be um, the same way you just join a server. It could be you can't connect to a server you want, a specified server, where you would be talking to your uh, team or whatever. I don't know. I I think it'd be a cool aspect, uh, especially for the PVE. Of course, it would work. You know? Yeah, I feel like it would need to be limited to the PVE server. Yeah, that, that'd probably be the best, and that's probably what he was alluding to. Of course, everybody here is thinking PvP aspect because we're fucking PvP players, you know? But uh, I, I think it would work very, very well, honestly. It's... I even thought about... Um, so PUBG has a after raid... Or after raid fucking Tarkov god damn it um end game video footage camera fucking setup type thing where you could see everyone's fucking perspective I That's for cool. years have tossed that into Tarkov's fucking world with nobody taking anything up on that and I've actually had people say oh well, they're working on so many other things the community wants right now. You mean the streamers? Fucking dumbass, whoever fucking told me that shit. We that's have really no cool, hackers so, right now. Um, see, that, that's really cool. However, yeah, as I think I just heard Kuso say, I, I couldn't hear exactly, but it's a procedural game. Are you no, gonna have uh, a... I, I said they're too busy selling hacks for their own game. To... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's they a are procedural game. I was um, like, what? But it's a procedural game, so how are they going to have an after action? Per persistent game, not procedural. Procedural. What the fuck does procedural mean? The same as persistent. It does? No, proce oh. no. Proce 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 okay. Procedural generation is created yeah. on spot. No, no, procedural generation. That's a different thing from just procedural. Is it? That's why I was like, yes. hold on, because I'm thinking procedural generation. Just to clear up for the community, I think that's what everybody Relating else is Relating to thinking. an established or official way of doing something, which is one after the other. That's an, mm. that's an adjective, but the noun. Okay, the noun. Right, so the noun. It's for a na <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that's a really cool noun, dude. No, but I'm, I'm saying like you're you're saying it's procedural, right? But it's just a big word for gamers, okay? We're dumb, dumb, yeah, it, dumb. It, it, it's, a, it, it, it's a whole lot of nothing that's worth <laughs> <the> saying. <laughs> it's the same thing. Man, it's, it's, it's one after the other. It, it, you go still... straight. You go from one mission back to your base and back out there's no end yeah anyway persistent Thank the you. server is persistent <laughs> where would you where would you have the the, the spectator cam so, at any point that's quite the literally box. the only thing it's, it's a massive only thing it's how would you think about it you know what i mean how would you I do wouldn't. it you know, well, they're talking you'd have about... to have a they... you'd have to have a rolling a file served on the uh, saved on the server, either in chunks or. Well, I, I uh, all I know I mean, is they're, they're gonna have that regardless. All I know is a, a it's able footage? to be done in PUBG. A, a, a... I think they could do it here, no problem. No, 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 thing. no, no. A PUBG is a set amount of time. Yeah, I Wait, know, but I. I think it still could be I'm done. I'm completely against this idea and every single if, way you are per perceiving this When idea. you join, it, it starts a recording. Whenever you leave, it ends the recording. That's what fucking PUBG does, basically, okay, so right? How, of the whole map? Yeah, but all... I mean... How big is that file going to be? I have no idea. All I know is... That's going to be a terabyte. All I know is PUBG was able to do it. I know it's dumbed down graphics and all that shit, but they're capturing what it was uh at their total 122 players or something or was it just 64 or, or 100 it was something like that it it was double easily to double the amount of uh what gray zone warfare will have on i know a larger scaled map uh it, gray zone warfare will have a larger scaled map but um i still feel that's something that could be done 
Uh, I I do not see a single way that this could be done without okay, so, insane. They're so talking about answer. putting drones in the game, and there's a lot of thumbs up in on that suggestion. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> drones <laughs> aren't <laughs> saved footage. Here's my issue with what you're saying. You play you play War Thunder, right? The... Yes, I play War Thunder. Okay. I don't. Uh, so they they you know, you know the after, after game recording that you can you can get. Yeah. Yes. Okay. They have that for Sim, which can last five hours. Yes. It's not that big. It's still a. I, it's still. It's less that, than a gig. It's less than a gig for five it's hours. It's still a set record. amount of time. Yeah. yeah. Y'all forgot five, technology, encryption, and then compression. Why do you think it takes so long for some of these games on Steam nowadays to update? Because all. The, oh, the they gotta compress packed. too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All I'm saying is, I think that would be a great thing to implement. Write and a suggestion and see what the rest of the community thinks. I quite literally did, I think. But well, it, this was early. I file size too big. I yeah, I, I didn't go too like uh, in depth with it or whatnot. But um, it would really have to be something that they think can be done and make sure they're on uh, their roadmap still. Because this is something that, like, I probably should have talked about in, uh, I think it was with the the 11 Man podcast. Uh, Over 30 days ago. The, uh, oh, no, man. Days. No, it hasn't been that long. The, it's uh, been a week and a half. Yeah. In 10 days. It's going to come out, I'm telling you. Tell when? You. So, this week. This week is coming out. You said, you said it was going to come out tomorrow, which is Monday. This week, yes. Monday. This week, coming <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, he, he 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 doesn't. No 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 no, it's coming out tomorrow. The map does not map it mathematically speaking. I mean, we already know tactical's not gonna. Yeah no. Oh my god, I'm doing it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm I'm setting the date tomorrow, like seven in the morning, more than likely. Six to seven, something like that. Um, I already think I'm gonna fucking switch the dates though because. <laughs> For the podcast in general, because I think Monday is the worst day to fucking upload. I need like a Wednesday or a Thursday for uh, my content wise, but anywho, uh, I think I'm going to do that as an, a suggestion uh, in one of my suggestion videos where we could all discuss about it and um. Uh, if it would be a cool feature or not, would not all that mumbo jumbo. Um, I'd like to get back to the main topic again, real quick, before we shut this down in the next like 20 minutes or so. Um, next two hours. What <laughs> what do we think That's about nice. release date for early access completely? Do we absolutely think? Let's let's do a one to ten scale. Do we think? Early access is within the month. Do we think seven, se seven months? Oh God! I say Q4. You said a yeah, one to it. ten scale. No, if it's gonna joking. release in the next month, I said seven. seven as months. in, I think it's oh gonna be. My. I know. As in, I know. Are you stupid? <laughs> Why are you trying to use numbers? You don't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna give you a scale. Oh my God! You mean that That's literal too. number? For context, everybody who has watched this and acting like we all hate each other, we're just good friends. We yeah. just fuck with each other. It's Way funny as shit. <laughs> oh my god, I just noticed Zap changed his thing to damn instead of IRAM. It's damn because he can't join IRAM yet. <laughs> That's yeah, fucking come back in classic, three years, dog. That's funny. Maybe, we, maybe well, Kusho, you can make a Discord for the damn community? Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you know, so Kusho and children, and, and <laughs> that's gonna go so look, well. Look, for look, for look, context, look. he has looking, four discords show. already for fucking Iram. I don't, I don't know how it's looking though. That's funny. That is so funny. All I'm saying is, I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> contractor said seven. Anybody else uh, want to throw a number? Within the with this one, right? Within this, this one, this month. I'm gonna say it. I said two because I'm I'm looking at Q4, like that's 
because fixing every known bug that's that's still a feat and i don't and and mark said that there were a lot of bugs yeah mark said that like not long ago with that interview yeah. and it the way he said it made me feel it's a lot of bugs to fucking fix that's i mean yeah they, that's how they, i he, felt he did, specify on one... he, did, he did specify on one bug in particular that every game fucking has is people dc him. yeah and they they, they want to try to get the Dude, majority it... of that fixed because if they're noticing that on a scale of 20 people on a server it, 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 his, their speculation is they can only imagine what that's going to be like with I don't know. Uh, he said what ten thousand uh, up to a million people playing at the same time. How many people are that's in DC at the same time? That's a hundred thousand yeah. people out of it at once. Like yeah, yeah. Like, so like that's that's why I don't think it's going to be within the next month anytime soon. That's a that's a big bug to fix. That's one of the hardest things every game has issues with. Star Citizen thirty Ks for years. Uh, it's still 30Ks. New, I hate yeah, it. New World. Uh, call it Games like Co COD, uh, PUBG, it, it, every game has that issue where you're going to pop in uh, and then you're going to crash from the fucking game. Oh, I know. It's is not an easy bug to fix. That is impossible to completely fix. It's like a virus. Oh, yeah. No, point, it, it is. It, like... it is completely impossible uh, that, to make sure it's. That bug not needs to happen. be limited at the minimal yeah if i'm dcing uh, three four times a session in like a fucking six hour session i'm not playing the game too often then and that's yeah, like that's what they don't want that's under the context of yes yeah, specs also but that's under the context of like if i'm playing with friends and i can't reconnect to the same server i could see issues happening where you can't reconnect to the same server i think Marek alluded to something about you're gonna be able to join friends instead yeah, of no, like we, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm hoping for a server browser. Yeah, you, you should you, you should have that. But in the beginning, whenever I first started doing videos, all we knew was you're gonna and they didn't say anything otherwise. And this was like still around the 23 minute footage uh, gameplay footage that they dropped with IGN and whatnot. That all we knew still was before you get into a server, you better have your friends you want to play with, or you're gonna have to leave the server, then get the friends you want to play with if you want to play with friends. That's what I got from it up to that point, and then which is fine. Yeah, M Marek now stated basically you're gonna be able to join friends, which is good. You you gotta have that. If not, Even if delay you're on it. One server and a, yeah, and you have another buddy on another server. You can invite him from his server to your server. Yes, we, we know that's going to be. A if Assuming if that not, is delay it. <laughs> yeah, if not, just delay the game, because it, that's going to be See, right. So. You're going to have your DCs. Oh man, we can't get back into the same server, guys. Y'all, y'all got to leave. Then you're not going to be able to join a server. It's going to take ten minutes probably to join a server in the beginning. You got to think, Battlefield Four days. Battlefield Four. Hardcore servers right, were no, down no. for like three fucking months, bro. All I, I play I is hardcore. About it. In the beginning, yes, yeah, same. Yes, in the beginning, it was I, fucked, dude. I did not want to play the game. I'm not Tarkov, fucking. I, I keep <laughs> saying Tarkov. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> we talked about Tarkov being so shit tonight. I it's all stuff stuck on it, but yeah, no, it's always so shit. Four, dude, was I? I, I hate Battlefield Four. I know everyone says Battlefield Four is one of the better Battlefield or one of the last good battlefields, but I'm sorry, no. you don't have if you don't have a game. That is good. The, the, the first launch. three months it officially releases. The I'm launch not an official was release, not an early access. If you have a game that within three months of its official release is having major fucking issues, I don't care how long it takes you to fix it, it's not a good game because 90% of the people that bought Battlefield 4 that refunded it did not rebuy the game. Damn. Didn't know that. That's crazy. But, um, mm -hmm. I bought, see, I buy games. When it comes to broken games, I, I wait until a year out so I don't touch them. And I won't have to worry about a lot of the issues. So it's, it's a good game, in yeah. my opinion. But good game over, overall? No. Anyway, um, I mean, what I was going to say about what Mara said, Mara said um, I feel like aiming to fix every bug before you even get to early access. That's a big thing. It's a fool's that's, errand. That's that's a. I think that's stupid. That's a I think big that's silly. tell. That's a big that's, big that's thing silly. to say. Yeah. 
Like, uh, I, basically I with what we just I talked see it about. As admirable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in, in that sense also. A fool can be admirable. Yeah. But they're the only devs who have ever said anything regarding to that. They're, yeah. They're... I haven't even touched this game that I downloaded yet, but uh, based off of the, the views, um... <laughs> The thing is, like I said before, if they're going to limit who can play up until they fix all the bugs, they are going to release it and then find out. There's oh, more that bugs. Like, That's why you need more like, testers. That was, that was like 0.2% of the bugs that we've had reported in the last 20 minutes. That's why you, why you need exactly more testers. Why they want to f which is yes, why they but want to fix I the bugs can, that they currently have. I'm going to just like big up myself right now. I've done this as my only source of income for the past five years you don't do it this way so basically yeah, but then you what i'm thinking you've also got games out here that are uh, sorry title you, you you've got games out here that literally can't develop further into their game because they're so busy stuck fixing the bugs at least they're focusing on that as a main priority at the moment before they start actually you know getting the game out to us yeah is a thousand plus AI off the rip and a hundred fifty qu that's that's big huge and I wouldn't want to like imagine if you get imagine if you crash after doing one quest that that's 150 guaranteed crashes right there imagine what if it's yeah, oh sorry I didn't mean terrible. to cut you um, oh no 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 yeah go ahead imagine so I, taking the little bird would probably lead to the most places where you crash. Think about it. All the visuals you're encountering within and rendering within like seconds. Right. Yeah. Because yep. that's the fastest moving object is the little bird. You're changing heights, which uh, changes your view draw distance from the little bird in the sky to the ground. And then you're coming up into more locations. It, it's just... It, it, it's going to be rendering a lot of shit right there. I think that's where you're going to crash the most. And think about how many people is going to be using Little Birds at the same time. If, that's, that's the meta. That's going to be the meta. The, the, that damn Little well, Bird. I, I just... My thing is, I think they should jump in a server with a bunch of people. Get them all set up with the little birds and all take the little bird at the same time just to see what happens. I don't know how it, if it could crash it. I Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know exactly how games are built and all this shit, but that's just my brain working at like what, what would be the biggest crash times? You know, how the, will it crash the, little the bird most? Not, the little bird might not be causing them to crash whatsoever. And so, that, that could be true also. Who who the hell knows? There are three main points where you would have issues. One, loading into the server. Yep. Two, inventory management at, within FOB. You'd be pulling stuff out of, uh, as far as I could see, a stash of some kind. Mm, yeah. Uh, and changing how your character is loaded, you'd be loading in different assets. Yeah, your As you're going, and stuff. If you are quick, if you are quickly switching between, say, four different chest rays, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want this one, this one, or this one. Oh, also, I want to change my gun. That's your next uh, biggest one. Third, I definitely agree with you with the little bird, only because people's computers are bad. Yeah. The yeah, average, sure. the average consumer doesn't have a 3080. The average consumer doesn't have a 40 series card. Yeah, yeah, most like, people uh, are still on 16. Let me 16. let me just uh, I'm gonna pull up something right now. Uh, it is not what I wanted to pull up. That is it on porn. Steam with uh, the <laughs> analytics? Yes, I'm going to pull up the Steam analytics real quick. Yes. While you pull that up, before I forget, I just wanted Hardware to say um, the best thing is to bring out the game breakers, which is the community. Like you, contractor, yes. you. You made videos on fucking that mag glitch thing for Tarkov. I didn't even know that existed. You broke that game. Yeah, I was also, you, I was uh, able to get it to be re repeatable. You, you disabled it at its core is my main um, thesis on this. Um, 
what are content creators doing they're playing the game so they want to just play the game and deliver videos for the people they're not gonna try and break the game i don't believe wait but hear me out right there there, there was more to it because we oh, only so got to see announced. we only got to see snippets too and that that that's the biggest issue with just anything video related obviously there's a lot more nitty gritty so hey who knows some of them might have been crashing and just not mentioned it which that, that that's too. where that con content creating content creators in a way they in they're general. just telling a story they're like the news they're like any other type of media that's out there what we're looking at is for them this for someone to say hey we we're going to fix all known bugs that that right there is like how are you going to do that what what are all the known bugs <laughs> think about it like right. this too this well, this is the first and only game of its kind pretty much it's persistent open world tactical shooter fucking the faction setup is fucking remarkably different from anything else where they're opposing factions not enemy ones how will you choose to play should be like the motto for this game um there's just so many things yeah basically there's so many things packed into this it's insane and you'll have so many different people playing this Right. I, I forgot the main point where I was running off with this, but it's... They, they definitely don't have to worry about having to use content creators, basically. Or pushing their game out. It, it will find its per, uh, its specified group. Niche. But yeah, it, it's... Dude, it, the niche is going to be huge. It's focused. I'm telling group. you. Yeah. Um, right, so... I've posted it in chat. Okay. If you look at this, you can see the Intel UHD graphics and Intel Iris Z graphics. These are integrated uh, graphical uh, components that are on your CPU. Same with Radeon graphics, those are on the uh, CPUs that actually have a built-in graphics processor uh, for, Ra uh, for AMD. Notice how there's only two cards above that uh like a group that from what we can see are above the recommended specs which is the 4070 and i believe the 37 uh, maybe the 40 uh the 3070 or i don't know how the 3760 performs that's what but i going have going off of pre going based on previous generations of the 60 series not not as well as a 30 like not as well as a previous gen 7 hey, series my 4060 ti is holding strong <laughs> but pretty much if you add those all together it is the second biggest group they are people with integrated graphics obviously they aren't the people that are going to be playing this game but i'm just saying like the yeah. people that are going to be playing this game it, it's 2.47 percent of steam 3.8 like 10 percent of steam take the tarkov well th th this is also the issue right we got a lot of tarkov enthusiasts hopping over and tarkov isn't on steam <laughs> that too some people the only game they ever played was tarkov they some people i know a guy who built his pc to play only tarkov and that's all he did he got to level 30 in in a weekend <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much uh what i want to bring up with that is people have terrible computers the average consumer does not have a good computer and even the average gamer someone that has steam doesn't yeah, have a good computer are... Yeah, some of the rigs are just yeah. like that. This is just their fucking video card. If if you want to show, I can bring up your favorite statistic, which is how many people have four by three monitors. Um, <laughs> what? The... Just oh me. no! Who said that is not my favorite statistic? <laughs> right, primary monitor display. The top is obviously uh, four. obviously uh, 1080 is oh. 1920 by 1080. 
after that is 1440p. You know, both normal normal monitor resolutions. Oh. Top after that. It's 4K. You don't have to worry. After that, it's 4x3, and the rest of them are all 4x3. Oh, no, no, what no, I was, I was just saying regarding as to scaling. Yeah, no, I, I know. We, we should yeah. just not let people who play 4x3 into the game. Um, they're <laughs> horrible people. My shit isn't even in 4x3, what the fuck? <laughs> or, 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 you know, 20, 24x9. Oh, yeah, no, I, 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 no, 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 the, no, no, but widescreen people are okay. It's people that play 4x3 stretched. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because I know so many people who play CS like that, I'm just like, dude, there's someone to your left, and they're like, um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see them. I'm like, I'll do yeah, because the you're stupid. 4K stretched, and this is for those people with the ultra wants who'll be like, oh, I have 4K as well. Yeah. By the way, for anyone that doesn't know what four or uh, four by three is, um. Or well, three by four, <laughs> four by three, three by what, what is it? Four by three. It's four by, four three. by three. three. Yeah. Uh, think of the old non-widescreen monitors that we used to have that were literally fucking squares. That that's what we're talking about. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have. If you, yep. if think you of the average CRT. Monitor, it's like a square. You might be a little too young to remember, but we used to no. have monitors that were just straight squares. I'll do you one better. The, the square was attached to the computer, like. You had to carry Get the it, you're like 65 together. years old, dude. Calm what down. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, um... I remember that computer. Honestly, I think a 1080 might be able to run at a minimum, because okay. the 1080 was outperforming the 30... the 3060s. And I'm feeling like they might, like, tune it for a 3060 as minimum specs. The... the like, the main thing you got from the 10 series to the, uh... Like, 20 and 30 series was, uh... DLSS, AI, all that stuff. No, no, DLSS was on, uh, was, was previous. Wait, DLSS was on fucking 1080? Well, this new uh, well, it wasn't DLSS, uh, it was DLS, DSLX at the time. Um, oh, yeah, but pretty so much, you can, you can just run it at a lower resolution anyway. Um, okay. what I was gonna say was, though, uh, they'll probably aim for 3060 as like the base because that's a pretty common card as you can see it is the most common card on steam that's my card oh no, you have a 4060 I... I again numbers dude i don't i don't know what's wrong with but you don't actually have a 3060 right for for anyone who doesn't know a 1080 no i got a 3070 i'm pretty sure I bought yeah. 4060 Ti, and mine's is pretty much, well, mine's is overclocked and pretty much. Yeah, I got a 3080. Probably 3090, yeah. I don't know. Pretty much, I'm, at, I'm running, I got I'm a pretty much running in the, the equivalent of a 4070 with that 4060 Ti overclocked. So I'm chilling. That's uh, good, that's Where good. am I setting at with the 2080 Super? I'm actually curious. You're, super, you're you're fine. You're, you're fine. You're fine. No, with, and, with, you know, the 60 are, are, are you are you asking for where you are on the list? Yeah, I'm I'm currently looking at user benchmark for uh, all the ben or the uh the you're at the so bottom. For... You're completely at the bottom. No. You're not even on there. I'm I'm always at the bottom. <laughs> all right, so 2080 uh TI did you say? 2080 no, super. Uh so super. I'm I'm setting above 0. 30, 0.53. Hey, can you look up a 0. 6, 700... <laughs> You are 0.53% of the population of Steam. Anyway, what, what did you say? 46. 6700 XT. <laughs> 67... Wait, what? Huh? It's uh, XT. Yep, XT. Uh, you're performing just worse than a 4060. Uh, not by a lot, but you're doing better than... Um, there are 0.65% of Steam users that use that card. What's crazy is I bricked my 2080 Super before that card somehow. Maybe it's the... I don't know. <laughs> Play my card. I literally just, like, if my 4060 Ti shits the bit, I have a spare point, graphics card uh, lying around. 2.23. Okay. And then, even, even this is still kind of iffy because there are so many different variations to these cards because all it just says is nvidia gtx but what about the brand of graphics card 
Um, not all brands are. Uh, see, that's why I like user. Yeah, that's why I like using user benchmark. It's the average between all the cards that are tested. Oh, it doesn't. Spe- okay, yeah, yeah. It doesn't specify which brand of card, but there are definitely card brands that are outperforming others. But they've also, you know, charged Her more. Strix. <laughs> Eh, yeah. ROG Strix would probably be second best, I think, other than actual OEM. Oh, uh, you mean it's... like Founders Edition stuff? Yeah, yeah. Founders Edition, I feel like, is always the best. Because, uh, like, I have a... Uh... The company doesn't even make graphics cards anymore. I forgot what they're called. Uh, EVGA? Like this... EVGA, that's the one I have. They stopped? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, they no, stopped it, it, for it. Long story short, NVIDIA ran AVG out of the business, and I'm of pissed off. And Nvi- yeah, I had fuck NVIDIA in it, dude. I'm never buying an NVIDIA again. They have lost my support. I have an MSI. I anyway, like MSI. Crazy on Warfare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's literally my current uh, GPU. I was just wanting to book. bring up the yeah. average un- u- user stats just to see, like what they should be aiming for, what they can aim for, and, and what they, like, what minimum and recommended should be. This is yeah, why I love the going, fucking like, podcast. Cut out <laughs> so much footage. This I am a... not cutting out shit. <laughs> Wait, I don't cut out hold nothing. Up, hear me out, right? I, as far as crashing goes, what if it's just the Unreal Engine issue at this no unreal is tested at this point unreal engine 5 has been used i don't mean to be bring up fortnite but fortnite has been running on it since day one yeah no I, I, no i'm not talking about overall i'm just saying like you know how you get those random crashes just because what unreal if engine they're trying to fix something what if they're trying to fi- fix something like that but it no like i like when i was playing uh ghost recon breakpoint for instance just random crash you know the game runs pretty good and then random crash it won't be in the same day it'll be like a few days down the line and i'm like okay let me just relaunch and now i'm usually good random crash i, I hope <laughs> yeah yep random crash like if they're trying to fix stuff like that i i don't see that work why did out. you break up bring out why did you bring up breakpoint because it it runs on crash comparison. Uh, UE five? No. It's not on UE five. It's Ubisoft Anvil. I've never even heard of that one. It's but at the same time they can, look at, they can look at crash logs and the uh, the the code that it sends to uh, to yeah. figure out if it's something that they they can fix or if it's something that is uh, out of their control. Yeah. I mean, um, and, and it, it, if it's out of their control, it. It, whatever it, a crash is gonna happen a UE it's fine. crash loader does anyone have anything major left to add because i think we've pretty much covered everything before i do buy oh uh, yeah you should give me access you absolute whores <laughs> don't give them access everybody point and laugh access denied access denied <laughs> <laughs> so uh our estimated time of arrival of EA guys is two months in lore. March fourth. And two two months to now. I I really feel it's within two months for sure. If not this small. month. I'm saying quarter four. Q three, Q four. Why would you say Q four anyway? No. no, because no, no. Q four, twenty twenty five. What? No, 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 no. Why? So, right. There are games whenever it, it goes back to him saying they have a date in mind, but they're not sure. Every time I I, I hear devs be like, oh, we have a planned release date. It's it's usually around the fall or the winter when cr- holiday and everything pops up. Q, Q4 How, always um, does better. I'm, I'm just going to say... And plus Q4 uh, Just games real quick, have... Cor- How How long have you been in this, this Discord? How long have you been following this game, Court? Q4. <laughs> no, because I'm just going to say, their original target was Q1. Yeah. Um, that... that was last month. It'd be if crazy they... for a it, 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 to, to move it three quarters is insane. But that when they, all of their, all of their, all of their, 
even what do you mean there it wasn't their original thing it was where were you they in the announced Discord it when uh, what's his name was in here he said so whoever posted that messed up because it was a it was between q1 and q2 it wasn't distinctively q1 like the post was yeah i don't know where you got that information at that's false uh, what? One I of them. No idea. Yeah, no, it, it was. It insane. was in. It's in. It's still on the Steam page that it was. Uh, it, if you looked at when is EA, it said it still says Q1 was the aimed date. <laughs> yeah, it, it, Q1 has always been the targeted date. They've never hid that from anybody or never tried to change it. They yeah, no, they're like it. it's. <laughs> yeah, no, they still haven't changed it. They've just said in other announcements like, oh, we can't hit Q Q1. Let's get them next quarter, kind of thing, you know? Q4 is an insane... I'd, I'd say that's a crazy, crazy uh, target to, to go for. Yeah. It gives them plenty of time, though. It gives them plenty of time, but yeah, it would be yeah, very, very... Uh, <laughs> it would be very disingenuous to advertise your EA access date to be... I just said early access, access date. Yeah. Because the date that EA better. would come out as Q1 and then going, well, we want to fix all the bugs first. We're just going to move it indefinitely while they still have currently a date in mind, obviously, which is why they're now doing a second test. I don't think it's going to be more than a month away. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I don't know. <laughs> you can say you don't know. Because you don't know. Yeah, none of us <laughs> knows. Uh, someone said Q1 2025. Well, yeah, that's Zap. <laughs> that was a joke. Zap no, was joking I said about. That. I said that. That was a fucking joke. Or no, did I say Q4 2025? You said you Q4. Said Q4. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize he said Q1. No, I'm, I'm but just yeah, saying, no, like... The, the, the release date has always been Q1 2024. For the early yeah. access. They got the year wrong. If they were to move it <laughs> past... To Q4 without an official announcement saying that that is what they are now aiming for, that would be disingenuous considering their previous updates being so informative to us in what is coming up, what is being developed on. But to be fair, wasn't our little, um, wasn't our delay also disingenuous because it was a, a singular tweet and nothing more, nothing less? No, they had they had an official announcement on the Discord and on the Steam page saying after the response from the first uh creator events that they should move it forward or move it backwards whichever way you you move dates um in your mind <clears throat> they've always been pretty up to date on there's going to be a delay there's going to be an update yeah. Every Back time they said something like that, it means that there's going to be an update next week. That's why I'm thinking, since if they said that there was going to be a delay at the very end of last month, they would go, there's going to be a delay to next quarter. Yeah, because I'm Does about that to make say, sense? the only thing that, that pops up literally on their Steam pages, plan release date 2024. Yes, but if you look through the all of the dev, like all of the updates and all of the devlogs, it said first devlog Q1, second devlog Q1, third devlog. There's been a delay because of the feedback that we received. Q4 has just been talking mm -hmm. about what we are expecting to see. Uh, that was in tandem, pretty much. If I if I'm getting my dates correct, pretty much in tandem with the announcement of. There will be a play test. We're on the 18th. I think we're just gonna expect the next two months for now. Yeah, I, I I'm hoping for next month at the latest. With midway through next, just so I can actually play it. <laughs> with with all the main stuff they've said, like uh, I know Mark stated like they want to get all the game bugs pretty much. Uh, under control his English also isn't that great so what does he think all means because all could be you know a little iffy I feel 
I think it's maybe it's perfectly fine. Maybe I think he missed drawn that one out of proportion. Yeah, I mean, it could I? And I'm only <laughs> saying this because some people have uh, alluded to that, like uh, you know, it's not his first language and his English isn't good. I feel it's fine, also. Or maybe he misspoke. I I, I, I don't know. I I don't like you said before. They they can't get all of the bugs under control. Within the next two months, I feel he's probably gonna have a good standpoint on let's release the keep it the same date whatever yada yada or push back again and then put a another date or whatever you know but i i think within the next two months it'll be pretty damn solid but um i'm gonna close out now we've covered pretty much fucking you know everything we went we went on a rant fucking we we've done everything this podcast you know we've um uh, Figured out what everybody's specs in, in the United States and the fucking world are, you know, uh, percentage-wise base for Steam. Uh, <laughs> quite a few things. Uh, so many topics that I'm not going to be able to put them all in the title, for sure. But, basically, two months, that's what we're looking at. We feel the alpha footage and just VIPs, it's like doing this next test, it's like, uh, whatever, you know. Let them do it, but we still kind of want something just for us, the community, and not biased, not towards me, not towards Kusho, you know, just put a sign up. How many yeah, people no can we get in? You, for you guys. Biased against me! Yeah. <laughs> give it to me! Just ah! g give us something more for the community. I feel it would be way, way better from a PR standpoint for podcasts and have somebody interview the people who played the game, which everybody's down for. I've had so many different people contact me like, hey man, I want to do a video with you, you know? I'm like, okay, I'll try and get something working, you know? But I just had the wedding and stuff. Things are not going to slow down for me for probably the next month. Because I need to jump on a fucking huge job, you know? Get so many different things taken care of. Uh, yeah, but... We need something different. We already had the alpha test with fucking 20 people. That was all VIP. I feel we kind of want a little something Not even more VIP, different. VIP, specific curated content creators. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. You are correct about that. Um, And it was awesome. That was great to have all that footage, you know. They've done a wonderful job, great feedback. And we also went into how some content creators also lie. You know, if they see something that's a good game, they might just say, oh, yeah, it's a fucking wonderful game. Not necessarily if they're paid or not, but because they want something new. Think about it. Some of these content creators play one game and one game only. Uh, some just a few different games, all based based around the same niche. And everyone knows when something new comes out in the books and someone's pushing it, they, they go watch and binge watch content on it. I did it. Fucking Girth Trude's probably the one who does it the most over and over again. Kusho as well. 